optics of the eye. In this lab, you will be using an eye model to replicate the vision of the eye. The parts of this model include a retina that can be placed at three different positions, a series of lenses that can be placed inside the eye as the lens of the eye or outside of the eye as a corrective lens, such as glasses or contacts. There is also an iris that can be added. You will be filling up the eye with water, similar to the fluid of the human eye, and looking as images are projected onto the retina. There are two different light sources you will be using to produce those images. The first is at your table, and is in one of these light boxes. You will notice that the design that's cut into the front plate of this has no lines of symmetry. So you can tell if it's rotated or flipped along any axis. This will be your close light source. There will also be a far light source or far image in the room that's shared among the, all the lab groups. There should be one at either end of the room and you will use whichever one is further away from your table. Two things to keep in mind with this equipment. While these eyes are definitely waterproof over the length of time of a lab, they are not on the length of time between labs. So make sure the eye is empty before you leave. The light boxes have their switch on the back and due to other uses for this light box, the switch has three positions, off, off and on. So if it seems like the light is not working, make sure you're not just toggling between the two off positions and you're getting all the way to the on position. Thank you for watching this video. Here's a fun fact. Soybeans are named for being the primary ingredient in soy sauce. You'd think it would have been the other way around.